committee meeting to order and ask the clerk to please call the roll. I bet the chief is coming after us for a second. Drusty Ahrens? Here. Cameron? Here. Carbonero? Here. Martin? Here. Ranky? Here. Shipman? Here. President Wallace? Here. The only item under the uh, Village of Barton Committee agenda this evening for June 3rd, 2014 is under police, and that is Chairman Shipman. Thank you, Mayor. We do have one item tonight. It's uh, regarding truck weight restrictions signed specifically in our downtown area. Uh, this is a result, as I understand it, largely of our residents' complaints <coughs> to the police department and to the board and staff. Uh, the police department undertook some uh, surveys and some studies on their own, uh, specifically the traffic safety unit and their truck experts. Um, and based on that, they made some recommendations, which I would ask Chief Williams to outline for us. Chief? Thank you, thank you very much, Trustee Shipman. Uh, Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen of the board, it's an honor to have an opportunity to speak with you this evening uh, and to facilitate this discussion. Uh, as Trustee Shipman uh, so well put, uh, there's been a several complaints to not only the board but the police department on the elevated uh, levels of traffic cutting through uh, or appearing as if they're downtown and potentially uh, cutting through. Uh, the, the village has hired a consultant to look at traffic in general and we have been working with them diligently to uh, establish their uh, numbers and their research on that. Uh, that's winding up here pretty soon and in addition to that, uh, after we started that, there was an additional complaint, and several, quite frankly, of uh, the, uh, the actual perceived uh, elevated traffic of large industrial-type uh, trucks cutting through downtown and creating not only congestion but concerns for safety and for the well-being and the health of our, our roadways that may not be constructed uh, to hold that kind of weight. So we set out to take a look at that independently. <clears throat> And I think, it sh I think it can be uh, looked at independently. Uh, and, and I think uh, our research shows that there is an increased traffic flow of industrial-style style trucks along with uh, commuter vehicles. Uh, we began uh, speaking individually to local businesses and the industrial park and businesses both in and out of town, uh, stopping trucks uh, that appeared overweight and interviewing uh, the, uh, the truck drivers. And primarily the elevation in traffic seems to be two-part. Uh, number one, if you're traveling east through Bartlett on Route 20 and your goal is to go southwest, south or southwest uh, into the western communities, uh, the truck route is Route 20 to Route 59 and south. Uh, to do that, you will experience six additional traffic lights uh, than you would otherwise receive by cutting through Bartlett by going <laughs> North Avenue to western, western south over the railroad tracks, and then going out west part of the road to 59. Uh, so I, the, tr the truck drivers themselves say we save a lot of time by cheating and cutting. Uh, additionally, uh, if they aren't familiar with the area and they use their GPS and they're just looking for the most direct route, uh, if you look at it geographically, Route 20 does kind of curve and then go up a little farther north before it turns and comes south, and your GPS will tell you the most direct route is to come right through the heart of town. So some know they're violating uh, and cheating. Others uh, are just following their GPS. And either way, we think we can... Uh, really put a dent in this issue by changing some of the signage, making it more prominent, and reducing the weights. Uh, I want to show you what's primarily the issue here. Now, I've, uh, not to embarrass the actual very company's name, I've just put a new placard on the side, very big truck movers. Uh, and that seems to be the majority of the traffic. Uh, extended box trucks uh, that are making deliveries. Now, this truck was stopped, I believe, today. Uh, and our traffic unit just sent me this picture, so I just added it for us to take a look at. But this is really what the community is kind of in an uproar about because the downtown gets kind of congested with these style trucks. Now, we put this uh, truck on our local scales, and it's actually just by a couple pounds legal uh, by our present signage. Uh, that's about a, just around 16,000 pounds, and that's what, we, that's what we restrict, anything over 16,000 pounds. So we think there's... Uh, what other examples would be 16,000 pounds? Uh, this is primarily the big, the big issue. Then the other things would be the real big flatbed trucks that are about the same length carrying th two, three cars or a big truck themselves. Uh, is that, that loaded or unloaded, Chief? That would be loaded. Uh, yeah, so the, but trucks about that length, not, quite, not the 18-wheelers, they're already illegal. 
Uh, but the trucks of this weight are, uh, this size and weight are coming through our town quite a bit because of the, uh, you know, Brewster Creek and other town, uh, business parks not in Bartlett. And so they just see this as the most expeditious way through town. The way we could re reduce this completely is just by simply lowering, uh, the weight restriction, uh, GVW, the gross vehicle weight from 16 to 12. Uh, many towns do that. I think, uh, by lowering it to 12,000, what you do is you literally uh, eliminate this traffic altogether. <clears throat> Uh, because on its face, it's over 12,000 to begin with. Now, what doesn't this eliminate? It wouldn't eliminate uh, a local delivery. They're exempt. So if they were coming to serve our businesses or if they were coming to one of our homes to uh, get a wrecked vehicle out of their property or whatever, those aren't violating the law because it's local, and all local traffic is exempt from weight restrictions because they're doing local business with a local entity. What it does is totally eliminate cut-through traffic. <clears throat> and I think if by, simply by doing that, uh, I think uh, you'll see a very large immediate perception and reality that uh, the situations uh, can be brought under control. And that which is, isn't brought under control, we can handle very easily just through some simple truck uh, traffic enforcement. Uh, now, we are not looking to suddenly stump our local businesses who have been using this cut-through route. Uh, as a matter of fact, our truck unit, <coughs> our truck enforcement unit has been out in our business parks and talking to our local and area surrounding businesses, educating them, giving them a flyer that this is kind of the way we're moving, and, and they totally understand and they're supportive of it. So it's not like we're looking to all of a sudden make a hardship on local businesses. They know the truck route. They've just been taking advantage of something that just squeaks under the wire. So this would be a way of handling that. So <coughs> what it wouldn't, uh, myself and Village Attorney Brian Mraz and our truck officers and traffic officers and our command staff have all been working as a team with Public Works. Uh, we have a draft ordinance under construction. We feel that the ordinance will address this issue and really kind of bring this issue to a landing for everybody in, in the downtown area. Uh, one of the recommendations was that is not to piecemeal it, though. We would like to see it be consistent throughout the village. So we'll just drop it from 16 all over town down to 12 just to be consistent and fair to everybody, <clears throat> unless it's already been restricted uh, more than that for other reasons. Those will stay in, in place. Uh, and then there's just a recommendation to move a few, add a few signs and move a few signs just to make it uh, a little bit more uh, user-friendly and, uh, and obvious for the truck, trucking traffic. Uh, we would add a sign, two signs actually, facing westbound on West Bartlett Road at 59. So as cars, uh, the trucks are moving up south and nor uh, north on 59, if they were thinking of using the cut through, it would be right there not allowed. We'd also like to put one right here at, uh, at South Main and Devon. Uh, put a sign up facing east for westbound traffic that doesn't allow them to go through the residential area and out to uh, Railroad Avenue, West, uh, West Barla Road. Um, those would be the additionals. And anyway, we have one, a couple signs we'd move by a few feet uh, just to make them a little bit more user-friendly to those at the intersection. Uh, there's one sign in town that's a little too far north, and as you make your turn, then you see the sign. We just moved that one a little bit. And this, uh, this ordinance allows us to both move a sign and add a few additional signs and then dr uh, drop the GVW, the gross vehicle weight, from 16 to 12. And by doing those three things, we think we can pretty much... Number one, truly empower our, tr our truck enforcement officers to go out there and start writing some tickets. And, that, and the trucking traffic has a very strong word of mouth. <clears throat> you only have to write a few, and it wakes up the whole western suburbs in the Chicago metropolitan area. But additionally, uh, we think they'll, they'll, they'll voluntarily comply with, the, with the dropping the weight a few thousand pounds. So with that, I'll open it up to any questions. Uh, do we give any warnings, and you can answer this off the record, or do we just give tickets right away? I'm sorry? Do we give any warnings first, or we just give tickets? Well, that would be kind of the campaign. We always Answer do. Answer off the record, too. Yeah, any, any t unless it's grossly overweight anyways. Yeah, we would always uh, – We, our philosophy is we're, uh, we always like to do an educational campaign. Uh, anytime we drop a drop or become more restrictive on anything, we, we feel it's fair to do an educational campaign for a month or so. And quite frankly, we've already been doing it. So we're, uh, with the approval of the board and, uh, and the passing of an ordinance, we'll be pretty aggressive on it pretty quick, to be honest with you. Chief, if I can ask you a couple yes, of questions. Yes, please. please. <clears throat> uh, Trustee Martin already mentioned a couple of the things here. Uh, just, just to clarify, We've already got these restrictions in place. All we're essentially doing is lowering them. That's exactly right. The restrictions are least the same. So the intention here is not, like you said, to make any hardships on anybody. We're simply tightening the belt a little bit to try and get people who might otherwise try to, as you, as you said, sneak in under the wire, use a more appropriate truck route 
something that's not residential, something that can support the work of and a more safer uh, uh, venue for everyone. That is exactly correct. All right. And as I understand it, essentially you're talking about a three-step process here. First, we're talking about changing the sign. Then we're talking about doing education. And as a last resort, we're talking about doing enforcement. This is not an effort to go out and write a bunch of truck driver's tickets or make any hardships for truck drivers either from within the community or outside the community. Is that no, you would not find any evidence in that in our right. department's culture. I mean, certainly certain. if they're not getting the idea, we can give them a written reminder of how to properly handle themselves. Okay. That's always a tool. Okay. And then uh, additionally, and I don't know if maybe uh, – Madam Stalin, so you answer this question. The cost of this, negligible, it's well within budget. We're not talking about. It is negligible. We're talking about uh, a moving so a few signs. signs from different spots and adding a few uh, if there's some routes that, that need to be signed for the drop from 16 to 12. Very good. All right. Is there other questions for the chief at all? I'm going to just suggest uh, the people that brought this up, we may want to let I don't see them. They're here tonight, so we may just want to let them know that they're the ones that are, are seeing it, so maybe yeah. they can tell us if it's working. Absolutely. No, <laughs> our, our officers are already in the neighborhoods um, feeling those concerns and letting people know what our intentions are, and, and uh, they're also seeing our enforcement actions. And, yeah, we'll keep them in the loop, and we'll probably, uh, as part of the educational uh, campaign, do a press release locally as well. Good. I just saw a moving truck. No, it was, excuse me, it wasn't a moving truck. An 18-wheeler on North Hickory. And I, I was like, are you kidding me? And I, I was like, ah. So I, I know that. And just under, but just understand, if, that's a, if he's actually going to a residence that he's been contracted with to help them move, there's, no, it was if mother. he's snooping through or sneaking through, that, that, that will help with that. Yeah. yeah. Just out of curiosity, Chief, was that truck uh, that was hit on the tracks illegal? No. No, he received a few citations. He would have been illegal beyond this. as He was illegal anyways. Okay. So it was way overweight. Yeah, he was way overweight. Okay. Yeah. He was and, Madam Salins, where does this go after us now? Does it come directly before us again next? Or? We will, uh, uh, since we're, we will bring it to the board for final approval in terms of an ordinance that changes the weight. Uh, the signs, I think, are already up for the most part. So we do have to have it uh, on the agenda for the ordinance to change the weights. Look forward to that. That's all we have on committee tonight. Mayor? Thank you, Chairman Shipman. Thank you, Chief. Thank you for very, your guidance very and well support. Thank you very much. Together. And then does it for the committee of the whole meeting. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Kammerer, seconded by Trustee Martin. Will the clerk please call the roll? Trustee Ahrens? Yes. Kammerer? Yes. Carbonero? Yes. Martin? Yes. Frankie? Yes. Shipman? Yes. We are adjourned. <laughs>